assalamu alaikum friends today we are starting a lecture series on fourier series before starting the fourier series i would like to discuss the periodic motion as the fourier series is related to the periodic motion so what is periodic motion it can be defined as that the motion which repeat itself after equal interval of time is called periodic motion for example the motion of earth around the sun is periodic the sun repeats its motion after about 365 days if we want to discuss some periodic motions in the language of mathematics we have to write mathematical equations for that kind of motion so in order to write the periodic motions in the form of mathematical equations we need a harmonic functions harmonic functions are those functions which repeat its value after equal interval of time for example if i take example related to our daily life then week is an example of periodic function any week we have seven days one is called monday second is called tuesday third is called wednesday fourth one is thursday fifth one is friday saturday and sunday so if the month of march start from monday then the first march will be on monday second will be on tuesday third will be on wednesday fourth will be on thursday fifth one on friday sixth one on saturday and seventh one on sunday so after seven days the monday will repeat itself if i count the eight days of march then it will comes on monday and the ninth day of march will come on tuesday similarly 10th will be on wednesday 11th will be on thursday 12th will be on friday 13th will be on saturday and 14th one will be at sunday so if we look at this after seven day the monday repeat itself tuesday repeats itself wednesday repeat itself in other days also repeats its name so if we look at these numbers the numbers are the counts are increasing but the names of day repeat itself so in this situation we have two things one is the name of day and second one is the number or we can say counts 1 2 3 so if i represent the week in terms of mathematics week can be written as this is equal to this name of day is harmonic it repeats itself after one week so i can give the name f and here the counts i can give the name x this is the mathematical representation of week in a week the days repeats itself after equal interval of time but in mathematics sin theta and cos theta are called harmonic functions the sin theta and cos theta repeats its value after equal interval of time for example if i take a particle which is moving in a circular path at first position the particle is along x axis so at this position the particle makes angle theta 0 with x axis so if i put here the theta is equal to 0 then sin 0 is equal to 0 after some time if the particle reached at this position then the angle will be 90 degree and sin 90 is equal to 1 and after some time the particle reached over here at this position the particle makes angle of 180 degree and sin 180 is equal to 0 and after some time the particle reached over here at this position the angle of particle is 270 degree so sin 270 degree is equal to minus 1 and after some time 
the particle reach to its original position so at this position the angle will be equal to 360 degree and sin 360 is equal to 0 so particle has completed one revolution and one revolution sin theta has repeated its value at first position it has zero value and and after one revolution it has again value equal to zero if we draw this motion graphically so we will get sinusoidal wave like this one so the periodic motions are those motions which repeats itself after equal interval of time and sin theta and cosine theta are called harmonic functions similarly if i take example of simple harmonic motion then we know that the equation of simple harmonic motion is equal to d square x divided by dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0 this is the equation of simple harmonic motion if we solve this equation we will get equation for displacement x is equal to x sin omega t plus phi and the equation for velocity will be equal to omega x cos omega t plus phi and equation for acceleration will be equal to minus omega square x sin omega t plus phi so this is the solution of this equation i have solved this equation in the lecture whose link is given in the i button shown on your screen so for a one periodic motion if we place the value of this term the displacement will repeat its value after one oscillation similarly the velocity will repeat its value after one oscillation and acceleration will also repeat its value after one oscillation so this is something about the periodic motion in the next lecture we will define the fourier series thank you